Hey everyone, welcome to LabVIEW Tips and Tricks, Episode 1. Today I wanted to show you how to work with LabVIEW menus, how to edit and add shortcuts to LabVIEW menu. By editing we understand adding tools that you might want to use directly from the Tools menu, as you will see here. So here we have a bunch of tools that we might want to use with LabVIEW, and I'm going to show you quickly how to add your own tools to this selection and then adding shortcuts. And let's start with adding shortcuts first. So basically the way how you would add your keyboard shortcuts to LabVIEW if you want to speed up your development process, uh, you would go to Tools and Options. Here you would select the Menu Shortcuts category and here in the menu shortcuts category you will see all of the shortcuts that LabVIEW uses by default and these shortcuts will be Ctrl N for new VI uh, it will be Ctrl W for close, Ctrl S for save and we have a bunch of those different keyboard shortcuts that we might want to use but then let's imagine that we have a situation in, in a bigger project we create a lot of sub VIs from our selection so we might want to be able to go for example like this let's let's just create a simple loop here so I'm gonna add a while loop manually I'm gonna right click on the conditional terminal and I'm gonna create a control and basically I would want to be able to quickly create a sub VI from this selection so normally by default the process would be that I need to go to the edit menu I need to go to create a sub VI from selection. So I'm gonna select everything I would need to create a sub VI like this manually. But as you can see I have here a non-standard, non-default keyboard shortcut that I created for myself and the way how I did this, how I did this is I went to Tools menu I went to the Options and here in Menu Shortcuts I basically scroll down and found where is this create VI, create sub VI from selection and here it is and I basically went here to the shortcut field I just pressed Ctrl F6 or I can press any combination now F7 or F5, F6 let's stay with F6 and basically that creates the shortcut that you will from now on be able to use in your uh, in your project this might be and uh, this might be dangerous if you don't remember all of the other shortcuts but fortunately LabVIEW will tell you that a shortcut that you want to use is already taken or not so you will not override any shortcuts that have been created before you will always be able to create a new one so basically let's see here that removing broken wires is Ctrl B so let me try to put in Ctrl B I will get the information that I that this shortcut has been already taken before so maybe I would want to select a new one not to override previous shortcuts so yeah I'm gonna get back to F6 Ctrl F6 gonna press OK and now I will see that my edit palette has this Ctrl F6 as a keyboard shortcut for creating sub VIs so let me quickly test it out. Ctrl F6. This, yes, I want to create a sub VI from this. And here you go. As you can see, I quickly create a sub VI like that. Now I can get this new selection. It doesn't make much sense, but I can do it. I can just quickly go Ctrl F6 again. And it's going to basically create a new sub VI from the one that I just created before. So it's a quick process probably is going to speed up my development you can do this with all of the tabs that you have visible here so once more let's go to options and menu shortcuts and as you can see here all of the tabs we can create menu shortcuts for the uh, menu shortcuts for the um, functionalities that we most use okay so that's the first thing and then the second thing that I wanted to show you is how to create your own tools that you might want to use I'm not gonna save this 
how to create your own tools tools that you might want to use directly from the tools palette so let me quickly go here to the tools palette again and you will see that I have a bunch of tools some of them are installed with some additional toolkits with LabVIEW some of the tools are just by default uh, so for example um, actor framework message maker is going to be installed installed when I install the actor framework with the newest LabVIEW actor framework in, is installed by default so I'm going to have this by default and also control design and simulation tools this will be insta installed with the control design and simulation toolkit so all of these are there are here by default or will be installed with some additional toolkits but you can also create your own tools so an example of that would be my tools that I created here and an example tool and let me just click this example tool it doesn't make much uh, it doesn't do anything uh, productive it's just a cat face but for some reason you might want to decide to have a cat face tool in your lab view it can be more productive than that I'm not saying that you need to have a cat face but basically you can create your own tools for lab view and use them very easily and the way how to do it is you need to go to your LabVIEW folder, the LabVIEW version that you are interested in, and go to the project folder in your LabVIEW folder. And here you will basically see all of those tools that are automatically populated when your LabVIEW environment starts. So the tools that you see here in this selection, in this tab, will be the tools that you have in this folder. And LabVIEW is intelligent enough to automatically auto-populate those tools when it starts. So when you create a new folder here, let's just right-click and create a new folder. My Tools 2, let's say. OK. And here in My Tools 2, we will basically save an empty VI like this one, this new VI that we have here. Let's just quickly save it as and I want to go to project my tools to enter sorry yeah, let's manually go there okay so my tools to and I want to save this as my example tool to okay obviously this VI doesn't do anything but that's not the important thing now you will see that I so far I don't have this folder available yet in LabVIEW to use but I can just close everything I can close LabVIEW and as soon as it closes as soon as it closes I will open it again so let me open it again I have an SSD drive so it's gonna load pretty quickly for you it's gonna take if you don't have an SSD drive then it's probably gonna take a little longer but now I should have this new tool that I created available in the tools menu so let me click and as you can see here I have my tools too and my example tool too and basically the thing that LabVIEW does when I click this it basically runs the VI that I created here so the tools that you will create will be just simple VIs. Let me click here. And as you can see, it just opens this VI. Now, if I want to be able to run my tool without clicking the run arrow here, then I am, I am also able to do this. So I need to basically create something inside so it loops around. So I'm going to just create a while loop. I'm going to create a control for this while loop. This is going to be my stop button. I'm going to hide the label. Okay, so this is my tool. It still doesn't do anything, but the option that I'm going to set for this tool now is going to be right click here on the VI properties, go to VI properties, and I'm going to go to the execution category on the VI properties of my tool. 
and I'm going to select that I want to run this VI when it's going to be opened by LabVIEW. So I'm going to click OK. Basically, the behavior that I'm expecting now, it's going to behave, my tool is going to behave like this. So it's going to be running when I'm going to open it. Let me stop that. Let me go to my tool once more. So I'm going to go to Tools, My Tools, My Example Tool 2. Oh, you see, I didn't save it. I didn't save it. So I need to go. OK, the thing that I want to do is I want to have this running when I set it to run when open. So I'm going to create this once more. Create control. Stop button, big stop button in the middle. And I want to edit this and go to execution. Run when opened. I'm going to save this. <coughs> and now it should be working properly. Yeah, as you can see, this is now running. If I stop it, then it's going to stop running. But basically, when I go to this tool, this VI that I created from the tools menu, if I've set it up as run when opened, then this is going to ba basically behave like a like an executable or like a like a tool that I can just use, set up some options, and I'm going to be able to use it in LabVIEW. So that's the things that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you for watching episode one of LabU Tips and Tricks. Let me know uh, in the comments below what you would like to see more from this lesson. Also, remember to like and subscribe to see the future episodes. Thanks.